When you're thinking and listing your priorities, after having God at the top, it's going to be really tough to try and arrange the others in any particular ranking or order. What would you base it on? How much time you spent on it? Shucks. For most of us, that would put work as numero uno priority. What about how much money we spend on something? Would that help to rank our life priorities? It could, but for me, that would make my mortgage the most important thing in my life, and I don't think so. I've historically listed God as first in my life, followed by my wife and children family, friends, and career, but what does that exactly mean? What does that ranking represent, and what does it look like in real life? It's a great question, and this leads us into trying to figure out the practical application of a life with God first in the priority position. So let's look at the very first church where there was a problem with a little priority confusion going on as the church grew. So with that growth, more and more people brought more and more needs to the group. Some of those needs were not being met, specifically a group of widows who were being over looked in the daily distribution of food. It wasn't deliberate. It was a logistical problem for the 12 lead disciples. So what were they to do? For sure, feed the widows. But if they did that, they would neglect the ministry of teaching and praying. Again, it was a priority issue. Their solution was to choose seven men known to be full of the Spirit and wisdom, and they did. These men uh, took over the important responsibility of making sure the widows received food. By giving their attention to prayer and the ministry of the word, the 12 lead disciples demonstrated living with God as the priority by following their calling. If they prioritized waiting on tables and feeding people over praying and teaching people, they would be outside of God's plan for them. Is feeding the hungry a good thing? Absolutely. Is prayer and teaching a good thing? For sure. The challenge is discerning which should be the priority because in that choice we find a God-first life. Think about the seven that were chosen to wait on the tables. If they chose instead to go and pray and have Bible studies, as good as those actions are, they would not be prioritizing God. When they distributed food to the widows and only then were they living God first because they were following their calling. When you're doing what God wants you to do, right where God wants you to do it, you're responding to his call and that's what living God first looks like. So, are you doing what you're supposed to do? If you're called to run a business, raise your children, love your wife, are you doing that? It doesn't matter if you're a deacon or a leader at your church. If you're not acting in accordance with God's plan, you are not prioritizing Him. When you're doing what God has prescribed for your life, that's when you're prioritizing Jesus Christ.